Yusra Mardini was a teenager in Damascus who loved to swim. In 2015, she and her family decided to flee for Germany, crossing from Turkey to Greece by boat. Halfway there, the engine broke. After 15 minutes, the motor stopped and everyone was praying. Yusra, her sister and a friend jumped into the water and pushed the boat ashore. And I lost my glasses and it's like minus two, minus two. And it took with us like three hours in the water. And then after that, after you still that had the journey like, to go all the way yeah. from Greece, Greece to Germany. Greece, Macedonia, Serbia, Serbia, Hungary, Vienna. How long did it take and you to get to Germany? Uh, 29 days. In Germany, Yusra listed swimming as her hobby. She was introduced to coach Sven Spanakrips. How did you hear about Yusra and what was your first impression? They have a good education swimming, their um, technical uh, foundation is really good and they yeah, had a lot of kilometers. Normally she's really focused. She's a normal teenager too, but um, if you... Not a normal teenager, I, but I don't do what teenagers do. She's a normal teenager. <laughs> Yusra is training to qualify for the Rio Olympics. She would compete on the first team of refugee athletes in Olympic history. First, you wake up 6 a.m. and then you, I get into to the school. I have two class, uh, two classes or two like hours in the school, and then I have uh, to swim two hours. Then I continue in the school. Then I have food. Then after food, I have second training or before. I have one hour athletic, I will be done at seven or eight. And then I go back, eat and sleep. To do this, um, this Olympics in Rio, they are just out the limits and this is um, 200 freestyle, it's two minutes, three seconds. And what are you swimming at now, Yusra? 212. 212. So you're working to shave off yeah. 11 seconds or so. Yeah. Just Hard. It's hard, yeah. Of course, it's 11 seconds, it's not a game. For Yusra, swimming is not a game, it's her life.